This video is about how to factor and how to factor specifically when a is greater than 1. And remember the structure of quadratics. It can look like this. And so when I say a is greater than 1, I'm talking about the coefficient of the x squared term. When this number right here is greater than 1, factoring is a little more complicated, and that's when you really want to use the box method. So let's try some of this. So when you approach a problem like this, when a right here is bigger than 1, you always want to look and see, is there a greatest common factor I can take out of every term? If there is, then you definitely need to do that. If there's not, then you go to the box. Okay? So if I put this in the box, 6x squared and negative 3 here. Now I need to figure out, it's the same old method we've used before, a times c adds to b. So a times c here, a is 6, c is negative 3, so this is negative 18, and it has to add to the middle term, which is negative 7. So think about my factors of 18, and think about my factors of 18. It's 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, 4 doesn't work, 5 doesn't work, 6 does work. So now I'm starting to repeat them, so I'm going to stop. But my combinations, 2 and 9, I can combine to 7 somehow. If I have a, I need negative 7, so if I have a negative 9 and a positive 2, that would give me negative 18, and they would add to a negative 7. So I'm going to put my negative 9 here with an x, and a 2, and an x. Now I do greatest common factor by column and by row. So 6x squared and 2x, what do they have in common? I can divide out a 2 and an x out of both of those. Negative 9x and negative 3. Well, the 9 is negative, so the negative follows me up here. 3 goes into 9, so I can, take, I can factor a 3 out of both. Now in the top row, 6x squared and 9x, I know I can take an x out. And the greatest common factor between 6 and 9 is a 3. Bottom row, I can't take an x out of both, so I don't do that. And the 2 is positive, so it's a positive something. They don't have anything in common, so I just use a 1. That tells me that my two factors are 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 1. So on the assignment today, you're going to leave it in factor form. Okay, so these are factors. Now on future assignment, if I ask you for zeros or if I ask you for roots, you would take each one of these factors and solve it for x and tell me that the root would be 3 halves 0. Okay, That's what I would mean if I wanted a root. But on the assignment today, you're just going to leave it right here at the factor stage. Okay, Let's try another example. Box it. Well, I should say don't box just yet. Can I do the GCF? Is there a GCF I can take out all three? No. So that's good. Now I can do, now I go right to box. So 3x squared and a negative 4. So AC would be, A times C would give me negative 12. B is a negative 1. So I think of my factors of 12. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, 4 times 3, and then they start repeating. So the difference of 1 would come with the 4 and the 3, right? I need a negative 1 to come out, so I need negative 4 and a positive 3, and that would multiply to negative 12, so it works. So I'm going to put negative 4x here and a 3x in the bottom left. Now I do greatest common factor. Greatest common factor between these two, that first column, is a 3 and an x. Greatest common factor of these two is negative 4. Top row. The greatest common factor is simply an x. Bottom row, that 3 is positive, so it's a plus. 3 and 4 only have a 1 in common. So it's 3x minus 4 times x plus 1. Those are my factors. Okay. Again, this is where you're going to leave it on the assignment today. But in the future, when I ask for zeros, you would take these factors and solve it. Set it equal to 0 to solve it. So 3x equals 4. x is 4 thirds. So the 0 would be 4 thirds, 0. And then this one would just be negative 1, 0. OK? 
Okay, so to make sure you're clue, clued in on the difference between a factor and a zero, it's going to be important for where we're going. So in example three, um, for, first I need to check, is there a greatest common factor? No. So I can you go directly to my box method. So I have my box, 10x squared and a negative 2. Use the ACB method. A times C will give me negative 20. B is a 1. So if you think of your factors for 20, uh, 20 times 1, 2 times 10, and then there's 4 times 5, right? That's the difference of 1. So we can make that work. To get negative 20, I could say a positive 5 and a negative 4. They would multiply to negative 20 and add to positive 1. So that's what I need here. So 5x and negative 4x. Again, we do greatest common factor by column and by row. So this first column, greatest common factor between these two is a 2x. Between 5x and 2 is just a 1, and that 5 is positive, so the 1 is positive. Between these two terms, the greatest common factor is a 5 and an x. And between these two would be negative 2. So my factors then are 2x plus 1 and 5x minus 2. Okay, again, this is the answer in factored form. And this is how you're going to leave them today. But in the future, when I ask you for zeros or ask you for roots, then you would take it one more step further. Set it equal to 0. And your answer then would be negative one half, zero. And you could do the same thing for the other root. I just want to show you what we're talking about here. If I wanted zero roots, that's the way it would look. If I want it in factored form, that means it's in parentheses with the x's. So memorize those terms, memorize these processes, and hopefully you'll be a-okay on your assignment today. Good luck, and we'll see you in class.